so here is the HGL Tech Flame HF 1105 uh, 6000 kV. This was sent in by Adam TFC from RC Groups, uh, uh, sent it on loan so I can test it uh, with the various props and so we can see how it compares to other motors so that that's uh that's gonna make a pretty good uh, uh pretty good for comparison uh pretty actually pretty good looking motor it's got uh looks like they went to uh, uh trying to save weight with this uh, uh minimal size base kind of reminds me of the uh of all the other new motors the uh, belt type motors that don't have the full base so that's uh, uh that's pretty interesting and it actually looks pretty pretty beefy there uh, uh, where it uh, where the bearing uh, sits so base looks pretty pretty strong so uh, i don't know much about uh, motors made by this company agl tech uh, this is the first one i've ever seen or tested so we'll see how this one performs uh, uh, just from first hand observation it looks it looks and feels uh, pretty pretty good, pretty decent quality. Uh, the wires that's about 80 millimeters worth of wire, more than more than enough. Uh, let's see what it weighs. See this right there with the uh, with the 80 millimeters worth of wire. That weighs. Uh, six grams six grams for that for that motor uh, so let's uh, uh, let's look at it on the magnifying glass let's see what uh, how it looks uh, the windings and stator and what size of shaft it is uh, so I, I already removed the C clip and it didn't have any washers just the C clip so it's pretty easy to take apart and there's the magnets uh, and the stator actually the the stator face actually looks uh, uh, quite a lot uh, uh, noticeably smaller uh, than the other motors that I've seen so far uh, but the stator is uh, five millimeters in height uh, as uh, spe uh, as specified so that's five millimeters and the shaft, I believe it's a 1.5 millimeters. Yeah, 1.5. So other than that, not much to say. Uh, looks uh, looks and feels pretty well made. Uh, we'll see how it uh, we'll see how it does on the on the thrust stand. Let's see what kind of numbers it pulls. Uh, all right, uh, let's uh, check out the uh, thrust uh, test. Okay, so here are the thrust results for the HGL Tech Flame HF1105 6000 kV motor. Uh, the motor came in at a slightly lower kV than advertised, uh, 5880 as I measured. So, so fairly close, uh, not quite 6000, but fairly close. Uh, but I think uh, actually that's a that's a good thing with the motor being uh, 1105, being five millimeter tall stator. 
the lower KV uh, is probably probably better. Uh, it'll it'll run uh, less stress, uh, much cooler with the with these larger props, the two and a half and three inch props on on 3S. It, it'll run much better, I think. So so that that's actually a good thing. Uh, so this one I tested it on 3S only uh, because uh, from the previous test on the real ACC 1106, I noticed that 2S uh, was kind of lackluster performance on these uh, KV uh, motors. Uh, it'll work, you know, it, it'll probably work on 2S, but it, it won't be accelerating performance, I think. Uh, I think most people are running these on 3S because they want, you know, they want they want to fly fast. So, uh, so 3S it is, uh, that's what I tested. Uh, the same uh, usual props. This is the uh, Rotor X. This is cut to two inches from the three inch uh, 3025 so I cut that to two inches so okay performance at 163 grams a uh, very very good amps actually uh, quite quite good uh, numbers there then we move on to the larger props this is the gen fan 2035 uh, BN by 3 and not too bad uh, this prop uh, as I mentioned before I was expecting a little bit better performance but it, it's not so uh, the prop just does okay I know people fly it and they, they say they like it uh, it's probably because it's, it's seems to be very well made uh, pretty well balanced prop apparently it does fly fly pretty well but here on the thrust stand it, it, it's showing that it's making a little bit less thrust uh, for the amps use you know uh, compared to other props but uh, still a, a good prop to consider uh, since it's pretty pretty good quality generally uh, so the next one is uh, the 2035b uh, cut to two inches from the two and a half original so again this prop uh, these two are Pretty similar, I think. Uh, as you can see, very uh, hardly any difference between these two. Uh, almost the same amps as well. So then we move on to this blade 2030. That should be 2030. I I don't know. I put a 35 there. I usually put 2030 because I really don't know the pitch of this blade. So I've been using 2030. So I'll fix that on the Excel spreadsheet. So 206 again, a uh, pretty decent performance. It's funny how this three props are about the same uh, performance very close so then we go on to the two and a half inch props and it seems like the motor is waking up uh, here at uh, at this size performance jumps to 244 grams at nine and a half uh, amps uh, this one's cut from the three inch prop the two and a half uh, 25 25 bn so this is a two two blade prop and then this one is uh, original as it comes from the factory 2535 uh, by 4, 244 grams as well, same as that uh, by coincidence. But uh, look at the amps are quite high. Uh, uh, this prop you gotta you know keep an eye for the temps on this prop uh, because it seems to be drawing uh, kind of uh, slightly higher amps. Uh, this is on the thrust stand uh, in the air as, as it unloads, it'll draw lower amps, so so it'll probably be okay uh, most likely. But uh, again, uh, keep an eye on this uh, on this prop. Uh, for the motor temps. Uh, then the original original 3020, uh, uh, pretty good performance actually. This prop uh, is kind of surprising. It, it does pretty well on the thrust stand. But I don't know if people like it in the air because it, it might be a little bit too flexible maybe or it's too thin. The blade is too thin so so it may not grab air as people would like. You know, uh, I think this uh, this Ruler X or Gen Fan 3025 is the favorite one. Uh, it's got more area, so so it probably makes more thrust on the lower range of RPM uh, more than this one. So this one does well at the high at the high RPM uh, compared to this one. So pretty interesting how the I I don't know if it's a limitation of my of my equipment, but uh, they're. Uh, these two are coming in pretty close performance until the, the top figures. Uh, the Rotor X3025, uh, it, it does a little bit better for the same amps. So this is the prop to go, I think. Uh, on these uh, runs, uh, the motor got uh, a little bit warm. Uh, I can still, I could still hold it, but yeah, it was, it was feeling quite warm. But uh, that's on the static thrust, so it's, it's been stressed quite a lot, and it's, it's. It's using a lot more amps than it's what it's gonna use in the I, I, once you're flying. So, so I would say uh, there's no problems for this motor to run on 3S uh, with these props. It should be okay. But uh, again, as with uh, as I always say, depending on the on your setup, 
on your the weight the total weight uh, of your craft and and your tuning it's always a good idea to to check the motor temps make sure it's not uh, scorching hot you know you don't want to melt the windings but i think overall the motor it's a uh, good for 3s uh, so pretty pretty good offering from uh, hcl tech uh, uh, the motor is not exactly a budget motor but it's not also a, a price uh, at a premium so so it's somewhere in the middle i think it's like 10.99 around 11 bucks or something like that for per motor and uh, as you saw on the teardown it, it looks like it's pretty well made uh pretty uh, pretty nice looking uh, components on the motor so uh, i believe people have been using this for a while and they, they they say it performs quite well so so that's another motor to to consider using so with this test you can compare it to the other motors that i'm gonna that i'll be testing and you can decide if it's the motor for you but uh, overall i think pretty pretty good performance uh, on the motor so so this is one to consider all right i uh, hope you find that useful and until the next video thanks for watching